let me tell you a story that's a little bit fluffy and a little bit gory. In the fall of the season, on a Pittsburghy day, all was gray in the sky from the sun, not a ray. <laughs> Normally quiet, all peaceful and dreamy, yet a hum in my head made me scarce and weary. I thought I heard footsteps, so fast and so small, a scritchy scratch from inside the wall. Wait, there's another. What could it be? Squealing and squeaking, but nothing to see! <laughs> a pittering patter as we begin, then clawing and mine, so tight with it. An infestation! Some rodents, of course! From where did they hail? What was the source? Drawing the blind in search of the beast! I then saw a mob fall into the streets! My neighbors were drowning! We did a big blur! Beady eyes with sharp teeth and covered in fur! Running for cover and screaming like girls! An invasion of millions and billions of squirrels! <laughs> Curious to know what reporters would find? Squirrel Hill's a disaster of the road any kind! Angry and rabid and chirping and scratching and squealing and slobbering and clawing and latching, these rotten young vermin would never stop! Did you see that? It just ain't a cop! Bloody and beaming, all wild in the eyes. Mounts white and foamy and swarming like flies. On a corpse that is rotten and covered in honey. With small little bites that make the blood runny. Furry and smelly with paws dipped in goo. A squirrely disaster. What will Pittsburgh do? A vermin-filled mess of blood and of stains. I now hear the cracking of my window panes. Hearing them scurrying into my place, wanting to nibble and bite off my face. They're finally inside and wanting to kill. So goes the legend of that squirrely squirrel hill. Be